Welcome to the elite hotels of Sweden. We are staying at the Savoy Hotel. This is the one behind us and it is covered in scaffolding. I think that they must be renovating it right now. So why don't we check in and then have a closer look. We all like to get away now and again. And what better way than to spend a few nights at a hotel? We're here this week as we check into three hotels so we can check them out for you. So why are you coming out again? Because we're staying at one of those satellite buildings. Well, it is uh, adjacent to this one. I think we go down this way. Oh, right. Oh, look, it's got an English pub. I the Bishop's Arms. I told you about this. Okay, on you go. I think we might have found the building now. This building has um, a flag, two flags outside with the letter E on it for Elite Hotels of Savoy. And I guess we need to come here and use the key to get in. Wow, this looks rather grand, doesn't it? Paul? Look, so they have these vending machines here, and then I think you can just pay for what you want. So they have, I think, these are like energy drinks. How do you pay for this? You pay with this, I guess. I and then it opens it. Oh. Okay. So shall we see? I don't know. Easy shopping. That's too English. So, do we need like an account here? You must have to log in oh, as a guest. You can set up a new account. What is this? I think these are the things for like coffees, cappuccino, chai milk, latte, chocolate milk, vanilla, hot water, espresso. And what is this? I guess these are ready meals and they are by the brand Felix. So this must be like one of their popular makes. So they must do Korean rice ball, penne rosé picante, which is spicy penne. Oh, I think that this all makes sense now because you could buy the things that you want here and then microwave it right here. And then you just enter in and then you enter the time. I think they also have like cutlery down here so that's all should we get a map as well should we have more than one yeah one each but look how grand it looks in here and we are on the top floor the fifth floor so the lifts are here. It's waiting for us. Just go in. So you have to tap in before you can um, press the button. Which way do we get out? There's doors like sideways as well. This is really weird. This is weird. It's just like the river system here. They flow in different directions. <laughs> I guess they so you, open all directions. You wouldn't want to be sort of lost when you're drunk or something. I'm assuming. Okay. I think it's this way. Okay, let's see what this hotel room is like. Okay, I feel like an old person now. Did something break? 
it's got a wobbly floor. Okay, so why don't I leave the suitcases right here? Where are the switches? Okay, so right when we come in, there is lots of um, storage areas for the suitcases that you could put right here underneath the big E. I think you could also hang things and store th some things up here. Oh, there's like a cabinet up there. Look, there is lots of storage in here. And look, there's a fan down there because it might get warm and we might need the fan. Oh, this is quite nice. This is very, very cozy. I do like the black shade. Shade. No, the black, um, what's this called? Shade. Lampshade to keep the light in. What's this? There's a box. Tea bags. Uh, so we have green, Earl Grey, English breakfast, some milks and coffee, a kettle on the side and the... Uh, Notepad? Yep, and the phone. What about the bed? It's like two smallish single beds. Oh, or is it? Oh no, it's not. I think it's just made up that way. I think this is fairly comfy. Now let's see whether this window opens or not. It better open. How does this open? I think I need help with this. I think you pull the latch up. <laughs> oh, let there be air. And what is the view? <laughs> the end of the road. You see the clock tower down there and then I think you see the station down the other way. There's one for you over there too, Marcus. It looks as though there might be like a, a leg rest, no? No. And do the lights work? Yeah. Okay, let's see what the TV has to offer. Just turn it on. Okay, this is channel one. Is there some type of menu? There's a book with information that tells you in Swedish um, where things are. And English. Oh, there's English. At the back. But there was our oh, Swedish first. And now, okay, it says airport connections, banks, bathrobe, slippers. So I brought mine for an additional cost, so I don't want any cost. So there is breakfast included in the room rate, which is good. And they say that the checkout time is 11 a.m., which is fine. Oh, look, I think this is for your footwear. Or oh, maybe it's a back scratcher. Really? Okay, maybe. <laughs> uh, this is for my hair. Because I don't like sleeping with wet hair, obviously. I don't really know what this is. Like back, maybe? Maybe. And Sorry. now let's take a look at the bathroom. Oops. Come on in. So we have toilets over here. It is rather dark, isn't it? Um, fine. And the shower is right in here. There is a shower gel as well as shampoo. And 
I will rate this at a later point, but I am assuming that one turns it on and then one adjusts the heat, which is what the showers are like. The towels are over here, so there's two of us, so then there's one for each of us, and then this is the one to stand on. I think there's heat coming off this. There's body lotion, conditioner, and a um, soap bar. There are tissues and a vanity mirror for you to go look at microscopic areas of your face. Some letters seem to be missing. Why don't you subscribe to It's Paul and Marcus on YouTube? We had to walk to the main building to get the breakfast and a breakfast is served from 6.30 until 10 o'clock and a coffee was all laid out. There was only one option for coffee and it was in this um, still and the hot foods was served in a buffet style next to the kitchen and also had cold meats and also cereal area and inside they also had an area for pressed apple juice and pressed orange juice there was also lovely cakes and sweets on the side for after the breakfast but I think that the breakfast was pretty good and it was buffet style so it was um, eat as much as you want and the thing we noticed was that the staff didn't really ask the guests room number because I think it's done on trust, which is a good thing. Hello? 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 Oh, you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel? <laughs> All right, cool. And it's called, it's Paul and Marcus on YouTube. Sadly, our time at Elite Hotels of Sweden, Savoy has come to an end and we have had such a really good um, stay here. I think we enjoyed using these chairs. The bed was rather comfy as well because there is this um, extra bit to make it comfy kind of like the way that they have like the mattress topper i think this is what it's called the, the mattress topper the pillows were also quite comfy as well i think these are the the soft ones so marcus didn't have any complaints because he would complain about pillows if they were not soft enough or hard enough so that's a good thing i must talk about the bathroom so in the sink if you turn the hot tap on before the cold tap on then it won't actually go cold but if you have on the cold tap then it would just remain cold another criticism would be the 
stand and shower. So I think that the that that plexiglass isn't really shut in properly. Like it's not. So I think there might be like a bit of an opening on the bottom of the shower door. So then I think that that's where the the water from the shower comes out. And then when we get out of the shower, then part of the floor is kind of soaked. And then we have to use the shower mat to dry it all up. And then I think we had to dry it on the hot towel rail, which does come in handy to dry off the shower mat because otherwise you would be left with a really wet towel and it's such a hard thing to dry actually. We had to leave the window open for a couple of nights because the temperature did get really warm and we had to let in the oxygen and the uh, cool air. I don't think that we were actually really woken up by any of the noise from the street below, which is quite good because you would expect to be woken up because it's in the a busy area of town. But I think this street is relatively quiet. We did have to use a fan on a couple of occasions to cool down the room. In closing, I think that the Savoy did offer us a really comfortable stay. We had no noise complaints from any of the neighbors. I don't even think that the rooms were actually occupied because there are a lot of rooms on this floor. I believe that we had really good breakfast as well when we did go downstairs. So there was ample food. There was I think a couple of occasions where I had to go get coffee elsewhere, but I think for the most part, it was pretty good. And I think this was a pretty good hotel, which was really close to Malmo Central Station. So overall, this was a really good hotel choice. And I would recommend this hotel for anyone that is wanting to visit Malmo and are kind of like not sure about where to go so yeah i think this would be one of my top picks thanks for watching this hotels episode from malmo and for those of you that have liked the episode give us a thumbs up for those of you that haven't subscribed already please hit the subscribe button because we do really want to increase our subscribers this year to give you a lot more better content. For those of you that want to leave a comment, you could do that as well. And we will read every one of them and reply back. And for those of you that are feeling extra generous, you could also buy me and Marcus a cup of coffee because it will also help us reach our goals of providing better content and reaching the numbers we need on YouTube. So until next time, we'll see you later.